What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, Lulu, to make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week, so be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Today we're taking a look back on 2023. <laughs> we thought we'd review some of our videos, talk about it, just do a little uh, reminiscing of what we remember about some of the key videos. What I've already remember? circled a few for Garrett and we're going to try and get some uh, genuine reactions and oh. a little commentary. Let's see what we got. Alright, so let's one, let's, we're going to start at the beginning of the year and work our way down. So right. you're going to have to See really can, try to remember. Yeah, rewind that tape. Put my brain to the test. All right, the first one, which was kind of a surprise video for us, we did it as a, a viewer request that turned into lots of viewers wanted to know, and that was the puzzle piece backer. Oh, that was a sleeper. <laughs> I get comments every day. How do I cut a big 16-inch rounds or one of your designs in my little desktop laser? Mm -hmm. And I show them that video all the time. We paste it in. I have it saved in a little folder over here so I can just copy and paste it now. It is easier than you think, and that video is a total sleeper. If you haven't seen it yet and you got a desktop laser, you need to check it out. Yeah, that's a good one. That was a good one. Uh, are you ready for the next one? I'm ready. Uh, crazy Money at Craft Shows. Oh, I, that was a good one. That was kind of a, we'll take you along, vlog style to yeah, a craft so show. Yeah, so that was something new that we tried, was kind of like a vlog style video. As we went through our journey of the craft show, we tried to do some little commentary, yeah. some little video clips, some of them were Lots in the, tips and tricks. the car at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of bad lighting, but a lot of good tips. Yeah. Yeah, and people like watching that. They like to see our journey and just what we have to share. And if about you go crashes. back and watch it, just just know I was new to trailerism back then. <laughs> trailerism. I wasn't very good at trailersman, and I was still learning how to drive it. So when we got there, it was kind of evening hours. It was late. We had we there was a great spot for us. The perfect there spot. There was a perfect spot. It was just trying to back that trailer. And if in I had trailer skills. Between two other trailers, I mean, you had a thread that needle and it took a few tries. Uh, 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 uh. Garrett, share, you found a uh, Family Guy yeah. video that that was it's pretty dead on. Yeah, pretty dead pretty on. Dead on. <laughs> so you haven't seen that one. That's a good one. Go back a little bit about craft shows and that little vlog. Yeah, style. Maybe we'll do another one like that. I think so. Style. We've learned fun. a lot this year that we can share with others. All right, here's another good one that surprised us. The LED acrylic lights. Doing oh, the, the I don't know if that one surprised acrylic. me. Because it looks super cool and it's super easy to do. Like surprisingly easy and it looks so professional. Well, we did a so, photo engrave. So we yeah. engraved our photo. It's actually up there. Uh, and so number one, I think here are the, the key points of that one that made that one great. One, it's acrylic. Acrylic is hot. Acrylic's Two, hot. it's engraving a photo that's also hot. And three, it was lighted, and so you really got to see this lighted like acrylic. Like a wow and factor that, to it. Yes. It just gives you like a harumph. Yes, and so much so, that one did so well that we ended up doing that one twice. We did it once with a CO2 and once with a diode well, I got laser. I a lot of comments. Can you do it with a diode laser? Because you cannot sure. engrave clear acrylic with a mm -hmm. diode laser. We gave you a hack, though. Or can you? Yeah. Yeah. You should go <laughs> check it out. If you got a diode laser, you could totally do clear acrylic with a simple little hack. Yeah. So we're going to do more with that because we get a lot with the diode laser and how to how to use acrylic. What can you do with acrylic in a diode laser? A lot. All right, here's another one. This was a good one. The 3D laser maps. Oh, I love that one. That thing <laughs> looks so classy and classic and timeless. We I just mean. sold that. So we actually had that. When did we do that one? I was one? holding on to that one for a long time. In April, right. We had it in our front room. We had it in our workshop space so people could see it. And we were probably in early December or late November. Yeah, somebody made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I yes. had to let it go. Yes. And they were like, I need this. I'm going to a party. Was it a housewarming, right? It was a housewarming party? Yeah, it was a party. housewarming party. And she said, can I please buy this map from you? So we ended up selling the 
big one. We yeah, had a bigger big one, one and a small one. That one was really fun uh, because we got to do something we hadn't done before and do that layering of the maps and that laser and engraving. And again, it was super easy. There's tools out there to help you yeah. and it was just a couple of clicks in Illustrator. And show you how you can yeah. do your lakes, your city, There's and, then, and we got to see some other people. Yeah, that, that, that is my favorite part, yes. seeing what other people do with the information we love it. we gave. Yes, yeah. when we do a video and you come back and share what you did with that video, we love that. That so, makes that makes our job and, and coming up with new ideas every week the most fun yeah, is that we see somebody do something with them. I love seeing what you guys have. All right, what do you got? What do we got next? Um, oh, <laughs> our P2. So we got our yeah. P2 laser mid year. It was the beginning now, see, end of May, very last week in May. We did our unboxing. We love the P2. We were excited to showcase some of its yeah. features. I mean, that thing, I thought it was going to be awesome. It is awesome. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I dove right into it with very little instruction. <laughs> well, we were able to show you the curved surface engraving. That was easy. That was great. Uh -huh. We did... Um, batching. The batching. batching. That was, was great. was easy. How about when we used the pass-through? Well, the pass-through got tricky. <laughs> and so, it took up a lot more room than I anticipated. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then I, I rearranged this room to try to get it to work. And well, we thought it was going to be another one of those easy videos. Yeah. You know how it is. Oh, this is going to be quick. Time. We had the design. All we had to do was cut it, put it together. Video's done. Problem is, in the attempt, in our first attempt, or was it maybe the second attempt at cutting it? Uh, sixth. Because we had to learn a little bit about tabs. Tabs. And how you didn't want it to fall through. It would Can jam up with a la laser. Yep. You got to have the proper spacing. We learned that it only cut in a certain area. So we learned a lot. A lot. But in that process, we broke the conveyor belt. And so we couldn't well, finish our project come to find out it was a super easy fix there was a screw that got loose and yep. it wasn't me that was all that was all we had to do was wasn't tighten my the screw yeah <laughs> all we had to do was tighten the screw but at the time that's what we had for the video for that week and we didn't have time to film anything else so, so. i showed you five ways not to use the conveyor belt with the p2 <laughs> so we did share our lessons learned but we couldn't actually finish the project that that week that was yeah. a what not to do. That was a fail video. We brought it back around. And that was something we had. Out. Well, I guess we've done plenty of fails, but usually we we fail and then figure it out. This yeah. time we had to fail and just... Well, I figured it out. We I failed. just had to wait for somebody to tell me how to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one that we thought that we really enjoyed and thought would be... We were super hype on this idea. Secret sign design. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> that was the most fun video we were, of the year. We were hype on it. This is gonna be so fun. People are gonna love this. Yeah, you guys are gonna Look, love this. <laughs> you get to see the the dueling design techniques. And uh, nope. Yeah. Flop. Nope. It was no. A flop. Nope. You guys didn't love it. We loved it. I loved we enjoyed it. doing I'd it. I do it every week if we could. <laughs> but that video did not do well. Uh, so you probably haven't seen that video. Maybe go back and check that one out because... It might be the thumbnail. It's got a horrible thumbnail. Well, yeah, we, we're, thumbnail. that's something we're definitely learning. I'm learning. Um, all right, so secret sign design. I don't know if we'll do that again. Uh, well, I wish we would. We'll come up with another bright idea yeah. that we thought was fun. <laughs> I think it's fun. I like the verses. Uh, here's another good one. Uh, we had a patron come in and share some stuff with us oh, and talk to yeah, us. I know where you're going with this. And he shared with us how you could laser engrave on t-shirts. Mind blown. We hadn't even seen anyone do that. We didn't even know you could do that. I thought it looked real cool. Yeah. You could get super intricate. <laughs> so we told him, he was like, oh, I'll bring you one. Before he could bring it, we were like, nope. <laughs> We gotta do a video on this. We're well, I said, yeah, video. come on and visit, but then I ended up doing it anyway. I was like, no, I gotta try it. I was super excited. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and if you and know Garrett, he doesn't he doesn't hold secrets well. Nope, he know. does he gets excited, he's gotta take action. Yeah, was, <laughs> as soon as I know something, you know it. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but I got a lot of comments that it doesn't work. It didn't work too well with the CO2 laser, right. but it worked pretty well with the diode laser. And I got comments saying, well, when you wash it, it's going to wash right out. Nope. It didn't wash it out. Didn't wash I should. I wish I had it today. Yeah. Um, I still have it. The one on the diode laser is great. The ones we did on the CO2 laser did fall uh, apart. Yeah, start yeah. to fall apart mm -hmm. where it 
got too hot in some places. Um, it actually ate all the way through. You can see, you can see. Would I do it again on a t-shirt? Would it look like a cut t-shirt? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> would I do it again on a t-shirt? No, but I want to try jeans. I think, they'll, um, I think they'll stay together a little bit better. Well, I just think that if you have a diode laser, I think that's something you could try and do something cool with. So go back. If yeah, you haven't seen that not, video, go back and watch that one. Maybe not big and crazy. Maybe it's just meant for like a pocket or something. But oh. it's cool. Oh, uh, well. It's cool. I mean, you can go big and crazy. Just know it's slow. It's very slow and it takes a long time. But yeah, it is a definitely uh, something you could talk about and share with people. Hey, look, yeah. I laser engraved this t-shirt. It's a cool trick. Yeah, cool trick. Parlor tricks. How about the liquid filled acrylic keychains? Never again. <laughs> Those things were a mess. Oh, I forgot. Uh, as always, I got a little oh, panicky when I glued my fingers to the acrylic. I mean, like, they were glued. We did some research. We thought we had it down. We thought we had some nice tips and tricks to share with you. Uh, but I mean, we, we got them to work. I bought all kinds of. I bought all kinds of fun little um, trinkets, uh, confetti, uh, little pieces to put inside because I was different, doing, different I was going in deep on liquid filled keychains. Yeah, she's going so deep <laughs> that one of the liquids was an enema. <laughs> Uh, well, it's because you needed, you needed, what was that stuff called? Uh, uh, like glycerine or something? Yeah, and that was the only thing I could find it in, And but whatever. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. They were a mess. They were a mess. Yeah. We had, it took us like three days. Three days. We had oil baby everywhere. oil, water, uh, glue, acrylic. It was just... It was just, the was desk a was a mess. It was a mess. Yeah. Yeah. So, guess what? We didn't do much more with acrylic keychains. And I still have all that trinket stuff. Well, we went in deep. Maybe for I could try again. For I our first keychain, maybe they didn't need to be liquid filled. Right. <laughs> maybe we start with just a layered keychain. Or yeah, an engraved keychain. Yeah, Tim's no. like, nope. Liquid fill. Yep, I need That's to liquid it. fill these We're things. We're going big. Otherwise, or... what is the purpose? <laughs> I agree. I mean, I agree. Big, big dreams. Big dreams. <laughs> Always big dreams. Always. Oh, here's another good one that kind of caught us by surprise, but is an awesome video. The uh, door corners. Oh, the door corners. Yes. Those blew up. I yeah. love door corners. 2024 might be the year of the door corner. So. <laughs> well, and we had so... so you guys like the door corners we got a lot of great feedback on it took them to the craft shows they did extremely well yes i could as soon as i put them out boom 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 they were sold first you know the great there's two things about that one i don't think people have seen that very often so it's something cool oh i want this yep. two it was at a lower price point so yep. it's great to have another project at a low price point three it it kind of adds to the door yes. hanger. It's like yes. a companion piece. Yes, that is what I found through the holiday season because we did a Grinch hand door corner and we had the Grinch hand sign. And if you bought the sign and we had the door corner displayed in our workshop you space, probably buying that too. you had to buy that door corner to go with it. So um, I think that's a great little thing to kind of pair the two of them. And I think you're going to see more from that, more of that from us in 2024. Oh, yeah. I got uh, yeah. Big dreams. <laughs> so I really liked the um, the door corners, and I know I keep saying if you've if you've watched us for a while, you've probably already heard me talk about them and how I want to do more. I still want to do more. Just me too. We're gonna do. We're gonna. I like that. Coming back to that. And some of them, are, I mean, the basic ones are pretty easy to do. We just did it in Canva. Don't sleep on Canva. Yeah, I think that we've was a said big, that all year. Do yeah. not sleep on Canva. That was a big theme for us this year. Let it's me tell priceless. you the powerhouse that Canva is. Yeah. Okay, here's one that you probably don't have a great reaction to, but I'm going to tell you one of my favorites. And so earlier in the year, back in June. Uh, yeah, in June, we received the Xtool F1, and we showed you that is the little portable laser. It's an it's IR. A powerhouse. And, I love that little guy. Yes, yes. And if you go to craft shows and you want to do personalization and customization on site, you need that little F1 laser. That thing has been great. We took um, it on the go twice this year, and we filmed it. Well, that's where I'm going with this. In the fall, they did X Tool did a um, a partner program with Jackery so that you could purchase the F1 and get the portable power station. Yeah. Well, 
just so you know, for probably a year now, I have been wanting a Jackery. When Xtool said, hey, I'm gonna send you this Jackery because we're doing a partnership with Jackery and uh, the F1, I was so excited. I was so excited when it came in. I was doing was. the happy dance and uh -huh. so now we I have- We had to take it out of the box. We had to hook up the solar panels. We had to go see it all work. Yes, like, yes. Like the moment it arrived. Well, if you don't have a Jackery, you should get a Jackery. You should get an F1 and you should get a Jackery. Well, Might gonna, as well get it in a bundle. If you're going <laughs> to laser it on the go, I mean, you gotta have it. just do the whole thing with a backpack. All right, sticking with X-Tool because they're one right after the other on my list. The Here's, here's a good one for you. Yes. Yeah. We got the S1. <laughs> that, that thing surprised <laughs> yes, me. That's I where I thought it. <laughs> shocked by the power of it um, that was something we didn't feel like when they I, said hey we're coming out it. with a new laser I was like okay we want to send it to you will you test it it's and a well they like, said we're sending you a diode laser and I was like but we already have a diode I don't laser, want a diode laser. We already have a diode laser well I didn't think it was a bad thing but I just felt like we already had one so what and they were like no but this is new and this is enclosed and there's all these new features well we have been pleasantly surprised Super surprised. Yeah. I have been super surprised, super impressed with this S1. So if you're, um, if you're a hobbyist. Market, yeah, I was going to say, if you're in the market for like a desktop laser, maybe your first laser, this uh, surprisingly powerful little diode might do you right. It's enclosed in everything. It's enclosed. It ha it comes, you can get the uh, rotary tool with it. You can get the pass through with it. It'll cut the acrylic that we use. You can create the door rounds. It, it cuts is, through quarter inch MDF. Mm -hmm. Super surprised at at a pretty good pace, at a pretty good speed. Yep. So, yep. Yep. Surprised. So, go yeah. check, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Yeah, that's that a good video a, to go back and watch, and yeah. then turn right around. And I think they were one video right after the other, the unboxing, and then the pass through. Uh, that's that, that was just a really great laser. Yeah, that's just a. I'm very impressed with. Powerful little dude. Yeah. How about the countdown calendar? Whoo. That thing was awesome, but... <laughs> so here's how that one came about. Sheesh. I said, you know what we need? We need a new door round, but I want this thing to be something different. I want it to be like a step up, a level up from our traditional door round. So, and, and it was holiday season and I wanted a countdown calendar. I actually want an advent calendar, yeah. but that's another story for another day. But I started with the countdown calendar and I wanted to do that little rotating wheel. So I started with some ideas for Garrett and that thing evolved. Well, she said, I need wow factor. I did, I did, I did. I wowed it up. Yes, you and wowed it, shot it up. me myself right in the foot. Yes, yes I you did. I painted and put it together then. Yes, yeah, so we, <laughs> that was one of the, that's probably the only time for was... when painting came to me and I, Garrett has been, uh, you know, your painting is not his favorite thing. So when we're doing a project and it's paint time, he's like, ah, oh. uh, then he just does it. I gotta go. But for me, I'm like, oh no, we, we're just gonna knock this out, Garrett. We're gonna knock this out. It'll be great. With this one, when I saw all those pieces and it was paint time, I was well, like, I think oh. you can tell in the video when I show her all the pieces. You could just see the enthusiasm drain out. Oh, it took us forever to paint that thing, but she was not happy the rest of the video. Oh my gosh, it was she just over. So I just mad became overwhelmed immediately. At the door <laughs> hanger of a thousand pieces. Yes, it, it, yes, that's kind of how it was. Yeah. So we tried to share it with everyone. You know, this is a labor of love. This is uh, one of those thousand piece puzzles. If you like a challenge and you want to put together a thousand piece puzzle, then do the countdown calendar. You only ever have to do it one time. You just be patient, put it together, and you've created this very unique and um, what, like advanced project. Something you're going to be really proud of yeah. when you're done with it. But we are not going to offer it in our store. We are not selling these finished. Yeah, Definitely oh, not. As a finished sign, right. Yeah. I'm not going to try and nope. finish these and sell them in our store as a finished mm -hmm. item. There's too much labor involved. That is like a um, like a one-time project kind of deal. Not for some, us to make on a regular basis. So, fast forward six hours, maybe. Six hours after the video is published, Garrett's mom texts, texts him and says, oh, I saw the countdown calendar. I love it. I want to order five. 
And I said, LOL. Yep. He wrote oh, back and said, LOL. <laughs> I said, I think your mom is serious. And he goes, no, you just don't get her humor, you don't. which was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, okay, I didn't really sense any humor in that. So I wrote back in the text, because it was a group text, and I said, Garrett thinks you're joking. Did, were you serious? Did you really want five of those calendars? Yes, I'm serious. I'll come down and pick them up. When will they be ready? And at that point, I said, you shouldn't have let it, you should have just left her on red. Yeah, don't even, he told me I shouldn't have answered, but I agreed answer. and it took us almost a week to get six of them because ultimately um, your, I guess it would be your stepsister-in-law something reached out and said, I want, I want one too. So we had to do six of them and it took, it took almost a week to get them fully painted. All right, last one. And this one was a surprise to us. Uh, the artificial intelligence video that we did. An AI video. Surprising amount of hate from that video. <laughs> I thought I was providing a lot of good information on something you might not be able to do in real life. Right, there were like, a lot of specific requests for this image. We couldn't find exactly what we were looking for. So Garrett's like, ooh, I got an idea. And I could show others how they might be able to utilize the same tools yeah. to do what we're doing. What I was surprised is how many thumbs down we got. I, we don't have very many thumbs down. Usually a video has one. I feel like it's the same person every video. <laughs> We joke how there's like one person that will thumbs down the video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's our daughter. <laughs> so we joke about this one of our kids doing it. But this uh, one is our most hated video <laughs> of all time. We've never had such hate on a video. And the comments were all hate comments. Uh, we're, I was just surprised. Angry faces. Shocked. On other social media platforms, a little angry face. I thought I was giving good info. Right. We were excited. We thought we were sharing something cool. People would, did not like that. I thought I would unlock a whole other level <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah. yeah, that was our surprise. Yeah. All right. All right. So the last thing I want to go over I thought we could talk about is maybe our top three videos for 2023. So if you haven't seen them, you might want to go back and watch them. Oh, yeah. And our top three worst videos if you haven't seen them. Oh. I'll tell you if you should or should not watch it. Yeah. All right. Let's hear them. <laughs> all right. Number one. Acrylic LED lighted signs. Oh, yeah. Hands yeah. down. That was a good video. A lot of good information. Good thumbnail. I can see why that did well. Go watch it if you haven't watched it. I think it's got good information in it and mm -hmm. it's a good one. All right. Uh, the craft show video. We talked about that. Again, was a surprise. Got a lot of good information in it. And uh, I like the style that it was shot and I like that vlog thing. I think we should try it again. That vlog year. style, yeah. Yeah. And number three was the uh, 3D layered maps. I'm surprised that's not higher because <laughs> those things look so good in yes. person. Yes. So good you in person. You can make a whole craft booth of those, really. Yeah. I mean, well, we actually at the painted yeah, tree, somebody has something very something. similar yeah, to that. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. All right. All right, all right. All right this is our embarrassing. The three worst. <laughs> our three worst well, videos. Well, let me guess. Let me guess what the worst one is. Okay, I'm not going to show you. All right. Fixing the DTF printer, where we try to do a little no. bit of acting. No? Nope. Oh. That was a bad one. Yeah, that was, was, yes. We, had <laughs> we did some acting. We did some really slow repair work. I didn't really talk about that one. Yeah, that's a oh. good one. We, we came in. <laughs> that one, we decided we were going to do a little sketch comedy. Yeah, we're going to play out some ER maybe. Awful. Awful. Terrible. Yeah. Bad bad idea on our part. We will not sketch. I'm not, not an actor. <laughs> you will not see me on the big screen anytime soon. Uh, you don't have to watch that video, but you might want to watch the first, what, one minute? Yeah. So we can embarrass ourselves. I had some crazy hair going on and we were trying to act and we're terrible actors. All right. Number two worst video. Number two worst video. What do I think it is? <clears throat> Well, what is the number one worst video? You that was me. that was number one. Oh, that oh, that, I guess number one. Yeah. The DTF. Oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Oh, I haven't told you that yet. Yeah. Oh, well, let's go with the number three. I'll go three to two, three to one. Okay. What's the third worst three? video, clock video. The clock video where I made the big clock. Yes, we didn't talk about that either. That's another funny one. Um, I mean, that clock looks <laughs> good. I, I mean, I'm sorry. that video. Was pretty cool. I, I don't, 
I don't know. I didn't really love the clock. I wanted the clock, and it was my idea, yeah. and I picked out the style of the clock, and then ultimately, I don't love the clock. It's not even hung up anywhere. I still think no. it's leaning against a wall yeah. out, outside. Uh, but the funniest part about that video, if you haven't seen it, which you haven't, because it's like the third worst video, <laughs> go watch it. Do you know about how far into the video? I don't know, midway, I don't know. About midway, you've got to see Garrett trying to figure out that he doesn't know his Roman numerals. I did it one time. <laughs> been a while <laughs> and then to see his the funniest part of that video is to watch his face when he realizes he doesn't know what Roman well, numeral is. trying to calculate is. in Roman numerals <laughs> that and, and we do a little um we have some funny um what would you say graphics that yeah. we added to that one so Tanner made it seem like I was a lot uh, oh, it's totally than written, I am, it I was totally written on your face you had to see that one that was very funny <laughs> I was puzzled um, the number two worst video, uh, our craft booth sign. We just did that one. Oh, really? I just, mean, that, that was a good one, too. That was seemed like a big request from our patrons, or anybody yeah. that has a craft booth was mm -hmm. like, ooh, this would be really cool. I mean, it looks cool when it was done. It, we're going to try we're gonna try that one again, you yeah, know. I I'm going to double down on, yeah. on that bad video. Oh, you think and, that video was bad? Watch this. <laughs> I'm going to try again in the spring, because I have some other ideas. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to do that one again. All right. We're going we're gonna to redeem ourselves on that one. <laughs> and the number one worst video... Uh, our craft room makeover. Oh yeah, well I mean, <laughs> yes, I can see it. It was, it's a crowded space, it's hard to get good shots, and there was nothing like exciting about yeah, it. Yeah, we were really excited to do a new, a new like backdrop here, mm -hmm. but there's still nothing super exciting and there's no real wow factor with it. It was a boring video. It's functional. Don't go watch it. Don't. That one, don't even bother watching it. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing funny about it. In fact, I think Kim was angry that there was no wow factor halfway I, through. <laughs> I was, I was. And the last thing I wanted to talk about, it's kind of our honorable mention. I wouldn't say it was a big video and I wouldn't say it was the best or the worst but for us me and Tanner who's sitting behind the camera right now our most entertaining video was our video where we attempted to use a teleprompter oh. this was <laughs> <laughs> this was one where we really wanted to do a great job and so we decided we would kind of script the video by we, by we she <laughs> means Kim decided yes I thought let's you know what? We are off the cuff. I like to fly by the seat of my pants. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to script this one and we're going to use a teleprompter and then we'll make sure we get all the points that we don't miss anything yeah. while we're off the cuff. So it was scripted out. Okay. And I'm sure there's a clip showing right now. You have got to see Garrett's face <laughs> as the teleprompter ran. He could not be himself and read a teleprompter. <laughs> there was either robot Garrett or off script Garrett, but you could not get... And it was so hard because if I went off script, the teleprompter didn't know what I was saying, so yes. it would jump around. Yes. And yes. then I would try to go back to the teleprompter to see if I missed a, a bullet point or something. Nope. And the teleprompter is just spinning. In a completely different place. And Garrett's like, oh, stop it, stop it, I can't, I can't read the teleprompter. And then it would start again, and I would, I would be doing my part very naturally, and then you could see him like this, reading the teleprompter, trying to get there. Oh my gosh. I, I feel better using my own words, the words that I'm formulating at the time, not the words that I wrote 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know who wrote those words 20 minutes yeah. ago. Who's that Garrett? I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, that, which video was that? That was oh, our... Um, Tanner? It's the, which laser is best for your business. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's yes, Which laser yes. is best for your business. Yes, that was our compare... Let's I don't see. even remember what was said in that video. I have <laughs> no recollection. <laughs> the, I guess that was in August. August 18th the laser compare video and that one actually took longer to film <laughs> reading a teleprompter than it did if i were to just wing it <laughs> i mean that, that two you, days of filming now that you now that you have the behind the scenes and you have the little like uh, tidbit of information there go back and take a quick peek or peek at that video you'll see the, that i never look you in the eye <laughs> never i'm like, always looking 
out and beyond. I got that thousand yard stare. <laughs> All right, so that is it for my videos. I did want to give an honorable mention also to our Test Cut Tuesdays. Those are my favorite videos of the year. <laughs> I love Test Cut Tuesdays. I love when we get to interact with all of our new friends that we've made. Yes, we get to talk about being off the cuff, right? Yeah, we just get to chitty chat with you guys and talk about whatever topics might come up through chat. Uh, and we've got regulars that join us. A lot of our patrons make sure they're there every Test Cut Tuesday and hang out with us. All of our hangers are out there. Yeah, all of our hangers hanging out with us. And yes. you know what? We love all of our hangers. <laughs> Big thanks to all of our patrons. You know we love you guys. We have a super secret Facebook group, a new Discord channel. You can get all of our SVGs. And After get to shows, hang out. extra yeah, content. So much stuff going on over there. You should check it out. Otherwise, I am about out of time. <laughs> I gotta go figure out how to read a teleprompter. <laughs> you gotta go back to work, and I will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again.